I've been beat up my whole life. But I always come out on top. I'm a two-time UFC champion. And you may hate that. Hate the money, the power, the girls. Hate my right hand. You know what I hate? I hate to lose. In a crazy night of upsets, people everywhere were talking about Nick Diaz. Did, yeah. In that first round with Takanori Gomi, did you realize what, would you, what you guys were doing in there? Did you know it was that fast pace and that crazy? Uh, well, I kind of I kind of had an idea of how it would be, you know. Actually, I felt like I was having deja vu in there or something weird like that when I was fighting. Uh, as if I had fucking already done all that shit because I had, you know, replayed it or thought about it in my head over and over again. Uh, and just, you know, I threw the combinations and the punches that I thought I would up against the ropes like that. Uh, backed them up and, and cut them off and, you know, threw the jab hook or whatever. Uh, you know, I knew I knew it was going to be, I really didn't know it was going to be a lot like that. I didn't expect him to kind of like put his head down and just kind of loop some, some fucking punch out there and, just, and smack me, knock me down. I was like, what the fuck? My leg didn't, did, you know, didn't stick behind me. Just fucking sat me down. Uh, but, you know, I was, I could see clearly, you know, uh, I knew he was going to be able to punch on me. Uh, you know, I, yeah, I expected him to shoot on me. I knew, I knew, I knew he was going to shoot on me. Everybody's like, you know, this whole stand-up war, and of course he's going to say whatever. Uh, I, you know, uh, I would, I would have called it, except for that I know, I knew they were fucking, like, playing back everything, like, relying, you know, everything I said in any interview or anything. They were just taking it right to him and telling him what I was saying or whatever. Because, I mean, they were telling me shit he was saying. So I didn't say nothing, but I knew the little fucker was going to shoot on me right, you know, right off the get-go. And, and I wasn't worried about it, though, because, you know, he can't hold me there and stall, and he's not going to elbow me. He's going to get himself into trouble trying to punch me on the ground. And sure enough, you know, he almost got himself into trouble. And then uh, they, they, they stand you right back up. And then, you know, I get back to my punch count and, uh, you know, try to land me some solid shots. That little... Uh, the little guy though, man, I, I don't know what the what the fuck he was doing some karate in there. Uh, he's doing, you know, doing some crazy super punch shit. It's a little bit different, you know. I don't know what that was. That wasn't boxing skills though. I mean, dude, you know, he knows how to box. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I don't mean to knock his boxing. He's he's, he's actually a little boxer for you know, for a little Japanese guy. But uh, you know, he's he's fucking doing some little Hadouken fucking punch in there to me. You know, or you know, he's knocking people out. Fucking, Busting their shit up. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck did that. I know what. I know what. I know what fucking. I know what. What hit me here and, and what knocked me down. But I watched the tape over again. It's like the. It's either this little tiny little short right, or something that that just busted me open, or 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 I think maybe I got I got hit with something that swelled me up and then, uh, you know I got ripped open with the headbutt or, or something. But I, I couldn't figure out what what fucked me up here. So when you talk when you talked to Greg before the fight, I mean uh, Greg Savage, you said you know he needed to melt you, melted you one with uh, with a punch to hurt you. I said yeah, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to straight in order for him to win, he's gonna have to straight melt me right off the get go. He's gonna have to you know first round knockout like he was saying or whatever. And, you know and sure enough, the little guy's got it in him. He's gonna knock some out. I mean what the, what the hell was that? I mean I've boxing training with a lot of people. Uh, you know this guy hits hard. <laughs> But you know he's not—he's not, not going to hit you. You go in there and you—you you have good boxing skills and you're moving your head right, and you're—you're not—you're not—you know—you're you're not, uh, you know, you're, you're not, you're not going too wild or crazy and don't overdo any watching. You got to watch that guy. He starts looping his head and throwing crazy punches. Like you know, it was—it was some weird stuff that that I encountered there. How many uh, how many stitches did you get on each side? Like eight on each side or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucked up. I get you know, I get cut a lot. But uh, whatever, you know, see if they can bust me open and, 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 you know, get me bleeding enough to stop in the first round, regardless. You know, when he was basically the last minute and a half of that first round, he was walking with his hands down, totally out of it. Yeah, did, did you, I felt, did you I felt this, it coming. No, yeah. I felt it coming. I felt, you know, I felt it, it going good. I know if it was 10 minute round, it would have been all, it all, been all over with. And if we fight again, it ain't going to be another three fives. It's going to be a 10 minute round. So he's going to be in a lot of trouble. I don't think he's going to be able to deal with that sort of thing. Uh, you know, and I know he ain't gonna come out right off the get-go and hit me with some of that, some of that, you know, diving, dropping your head down and trying to hit me stuff. But yeah, I started staying back after, after, you know, after I got hit a few times, I think, started watching out, you know, and I see him when he, you know, 
I just, I, I don't know how he, uh, he just kind of like looped it out there and whacked me with a few, you know, because I only got hit like fucking five times or, so, or, or, or as far as, I, I, I know, I, I know I got hit with like three or four solid punches and it, it fucking did me, you know, I did it. That you did landed a lot of shots on him, you Yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah, there he is, huh? Yeah, you, uh. You landed a lot of shots on him. I mean, you were jabbing the hell of him and throwing your combinations yeah. on him. He's got a good chin. I mean, he's yeah. up to your no, shots. Yeah, no, he looks better than I do right now. And usually that's what I'm, you know, that's usually what I'm saying about uh, about me versus the other guy, you know, after I fight. Uh, you know, hey, I fucked him up. Okay, Even though he won a decision, you know, I fucked his ass up. But luckily, you know, I choked the little fucker, so. Yeah, talk about that finish. I mean, uh, the go-go plot is like. You not know, he just, uh. He, when he went for that that last double, I, I I just switched right into it, and he shoved his arm so far in there that fucking arm was stuck. And he wasn't moving, uh, so he wasn't coming out of that thing. I felt it the way that went, the way he put his arm in and had his head turned the other way. I knew his head was coming back. When I threw my leg on his head, was coming back over, so I just grabbed the top of his head and, and kept it locked. You know, it was it was done deal right from the start. You know, because the only way he was getting out is if his chin came back over the top of that. And it was, you know, I wasn't gonna let that happen. Um, so you have a contract now, also with Elite XC, also with Pride. Any idea the next time you step in the ring? I fucking have no idea, man. I'm just wait. You, you just itching to get back in there? Yeah, I really, I really hope to get back to fight something really, really quick. Some after something like that, you know, I really just want to get back in there and fight again. Uh, you know, play no games. You know, I, I, I just, I'm young right now. I want to keep it rolling, keep it moving. Uh, I'm, you know, I turned 23 a while ago and. Felt old. I didn't like the way I felt. It wasn't a good feeling, you know. I, I tell people my age, and they don't, they're not going like, "Oh, wow, you're so young anymore." And uh, you know, it's not it's not the greatest feeling in the world, you know. I'm trying to get on it. You know, I look at my uh, career and, and the past things, accomplishments that I've done, and, and uh, I mean, it's 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 a small little stack of stuff. Is what it looks like to me, you know. And, and I haven't done much. I haven't done much of anything is the way I see it. So last I'm trying, question. I'm trying to get on it. Last question. I mean, uh, Carl Parisian, Diego Sanchez, okay. talking about, you, you've been in a lot of wars, Nick. Where did the fight last night rank in terms of, you know, your, your great fights? Uh, I'm sure, well, I'm sure it was a good-looking fight, you know. Uh, people, I'm sure people thought it would be a good-looking fight, you know, we're both strikers. You know, hey, I'm the only fucking guy that's going to box, you know. I mean, you should be able to market me or sell me by now or put me on a fucking magazine by now or something because I don't get no play. I haven't been in one fucking magazine ever. Robbie Lawler still gets put in magazines. Uh, you know what about a, a, a motherfucker uh, that can that can uh, that can box people up and, and, and choke somebody with a, a go go? You know, I'm choking people with go gos and, 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 and throwing throwing hooks to the head, and nobody else is doing that. You know, and it's like, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to get paid here. You know, I'm trying to trying to have people see me or something. You know what I mean? I'm trying trying to do my job or do my thing or whatever. So whoever whoever's out there wants to see Nick Diaz, you know, come see me because. I'm ready to go, man. You know?